Hi from Kitsopia. Today's story is Mike's Worst Nightmare from Monsters. Sully sat bolt upright in bed. The anguished yell was coming from his friend's Mike's bedroom. Sully raced out of his bedroom and threw open Mike's door. Hi, said Mike in a shaky voice. I guess I must have had a bad dream. He swallowed hard and then sat up in bed and gave Sully a sheepish grin. I haven't had one since I was little. Sully nodded. Okay, well, good night, Mike. Oh, Sully, don't you want to hear about it? Mike asked with a hopeful grin. Sully came over and sat down on the edge of his friend's bed. Okay, he said. I dreamed. Mike began. This is going to sound really, really crazy. I know, but I dreamed that there was a kid, a human kid, in my closet over there. He pointed across the room and laughed nervously. No, no, said Sully good-naturedly. Maybe it was the movie you watched tonight. Kidzilla? Mike scoffed. Nah, I've seen it a dozen times and it's never bothered me before. Well, why don't you try to go back to sleep, said Sully, suppressing a yawn. Mike cleared his throat shyly. I remember, when I was little, my mom would bring me a sludge sickle when I had a bad dream. He said, Sully sighed patiently, then went to get Mike a sludge sickle from the kitchen. She would sing me a little little bit too, said Mike. In a slow, scratchy voice, Sully began to sing. Rockabye, beaky googly bear, with sharp little fangs and shiny green hair. Morning will come when the sun starts to rise. You will wake up and open those googly eyes. Googly eye, Mike corrected his friend, snuggling under his blanket. Oh, my mom also che- always checked the closet. With another patient sigh, Sully opened Mike's wardrobe door and stepped inside. Nope, nothing in here, he called. Suddenly, there was a loud clatter and a light stand of junk spilled out of the wardrobe door. A yellow mop fell out. It looked just like blonde hair. Ah, oh, shrieked Mike leaping out from the under the cars. Then he relaxed. Oh, sorry pal. In this dim light, I thought that mob was, you know, a human child. He shuddered and gave Sully another sheepish smile. Sully chuckled at the idea. Don't be silly, Mike, he said. A kid will never get loose in Monstropolis. What a disaster that would be. No, you have a point, Mike agreed. Sleepily. Good night, Sully. Good night, Mike.